Hey everyone, Vladimir is here and we're rolling out the patch today so I thought I'd give a brief overview what is changing, describe why are we changing it, as well as um, tell you what is going to happen next. So first of all, this patch was mostly focusing on quality of life and convenience changes. We've been getting a lot of reports and uh, feedback from you guys, thank you for that. And uh, we wanted to implement it live. So first of all, you might have noticed that uh, those long lines in the backgrounds well, with the stars. And uh, those weren't a huge issue, but occasionally if the game stayed open long enough and you were in the battles, the starry, starry background caused some crashes. It also affected the warps, so this one has been fixed and uh, the very small percent of you that experienced the crashes shouldn't experience them anymore. If you encounter them, feel free to let me know. Uh, second, the bug fix with the planet and the attack bonus. Right now, before that, the military planets were not giving the attack bonus properly, so you weren't getting the full deal. As well as the genetics window, this is going to be more of a tree-like structure. I've reset the game right now, so I cannot show you the genetics new window, but it's going to be much more intuitive. I will attach the screenshot to the change log, actually. There were huge number fixes, which crashed the game past level 940, and uh, this has been achieved in two ways. Firstly, the boss rewards are getting toned down. I'm sorry, but it was never intended to be this big. So the boss rewards will still give you a good amount of stuff, but they won't be giving you like huge disproportionate numbers compared to your production. I understand that the underlying issue is that your production simply freezes at one point and you cannot do anything about it, but uh, we have the solution planned, but it will take a few weeks before that, so if you can be please patient with us, this will help us greatly. And <coughs> so yeah, I realized that the production freezes and there are no convenient ways to boost it later on, apart from getting candy, but we're working on the fix, we have the ideas how to do it. It's probably going to be an item system that you accumulate over the universes, but it will take at least three weeks to implement, so uh, in those three weeks please pay close attention to the balance, report me if something important is something that you feel important is not working as you expect it to work or if you feel that progress is slow because this isn't really our intention so yeah just let me know and keep me updated and i will promise that we will look at it after that there are also the ship panel improvements has been requested you can see the ship price increase after you upgrade it and you will also see the final values with, of the ship after the upgrade. As you can see, the ship info panel displays you the value after the upgrade and as well as price. So if you plan to upgrade it too much, you will see that the price changes beyond, beyond your affordability and you will be able to know whether you're aiming too high with the upgrades. So yeah, this should prevent you from upgrading the ships too far, but even if you do, there's a downgrade button now, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, other than that, we've added the content, 17 new achievements with 17 new upgrades. They're ranging from early game to late game, like gaining 200,000 candy from a single star jump. This will need a while for you to get. Although most of you who played from day one will get it, but yeah, you can. I think new content is pretty cool because this addresses the ship damage issue, will which will allow your ships to become stronger and handle enemies. Speaking of enemies, the levels of them are going to be toned down later game because right now it was pretty much impossible after level 900, uh, but it also required a lot of patience. So. As an experiment, we're toning down the enemy levels later game. Uh, the asteroids will also have bosses now. I get it that it's harder to farm right now and I agree to it. So asteroids, every 15 level of asteroids are going to have the bosses. So overall, lots of small changes, but 
I feel like this will make the game more convenient for you. There are also this... Uh, the cleared areas are better displayed on the map and there's also the progress bars over the objects and you will be able to figure out how far are you progressing. So yeah, overall, as I say, mostly small changes, but I think they should improve the quality of the game quite a lot, especially for new players. And uh, later on, we'll need three weeks to work on the item upgrade, which will increase the late game potential. Thank you for watching. Most of all, thank you for playing. I really appreciate that. We've been hugely motivated by your feedback, so don't stop with it. Keep being great and uh, yeah, the patch is going live in a few minutes and uh, have a great week ahead of you. Vladimir is out. Bye.